Hey everyone, it's Elitza here. I am a spiritual mentor and a psychic healer. I work with people and I'm, ha I'm helping them to discover their essence, their true essence, to reconnect with, with their life purpose and to through pa journey through past life and um, past experiences, we are able to break old soul contracts that are not longer serving you and we uncover all this limiting beliefs that are stopping you to live the life that you want that you love the life that you desire i'm here today uh, and i want to talk to you about integrity about the solar plexus chakra the third chakra and about the stepping into your power and it's really important because um, I pulled a card yesterday for our group, which is Shower of Abundance. And the moment I pulled the card, I knew that I probably I need to do a healing regarding to um, third chakra because um, oftentimes what happens is our ability of manifesting is related with our third chakra. And if the third chakra is blocked, if there is an um, energy blockage, around the third chakra, we struggle with manifesting. We are stuck in fear and uh, we are not able to manifest anything that we desire. So how this is related with the integrity in our ability to live our truth, to speak our truth. Um, oftentimes during our day, we gave away our power to others and we are trying to live our life according to other people's expectations and we always when we take action we always um, want other people feedback of what we have done and whether or not we reach their expectations right so we give away our power to make a decision and to step in our powers and take action. So what happened is this, when this third chakra is imbalanced, we uh, can take a uh, decision. We are not able to see clearly what direction we need to go. And we are actually, uh, our willpower is blocked. We are procrastinating. We are not consistent. And we are, um, we can make as many plans as we, as we want. We have, we can have as many creative ideas as we can, but we don't take action to achieve those goals and those plans and actually execute all the ideas that we have. So the solar plexus is located in your upper belly, just above the rib cage, just below the rib cage area. So. When you think about money, um, oftentimes what happens, people feel this blockage here in the solar plexus. And that means that your solar plexus is imbalanced, that chakra is imbalanced. So the color associated with this chakra is orange. And the affirmation for this chakra is I will. So this is your willpower to step into your powers. And the element is fire. And... Um, I was guided today to do a short healing for you guys to actually, I think I will be cutting the cords. This is what they were showing me. Just uh, a quick check on my notes here. Yeah. So we want to take our power back, right? And it doesn't matter if you're alive or not, this healing will work and you can watch the video anytime you want. The healing will always have a um, positive effect on you. So I want you to, um, if you're driving and you're watching the video, please uh, do it at home when you have a few minutes to be alone. Sit quietly, um, maybe sit, sit cross-legged on the floor or if you're sitting on the chair, Please keep your feet flat on the floor, keeping your back straight. I want you to relax your palms, 
your arms over your thighs, palms facing up, just to invite the energy, just to show that you're open to receive. I want you to close your eyes and take a deep breath in through the nose and side out through your mouth. And let's do it one more time. Take a deep breath in through the nose and side out through your mouth. Now seal the lips and keep breathing in and out through your nose if that feels comfortable for you. And bring your attention to your heart space. Take long and deep breaths. And try to even the inhalation, the length of your inhalation with the length of your exhalation. Feel this energy swirling, starting from your feet, around your ankles, your knees, it's swirling in clockwise direction, over your thighs, your hips, your belly, chest, shoulders, neck and head and reach your crown chakra just focus on your crown chakra for a moment and feel that chakra set that intention that the chakra is balanced and aligned moving to your third eye chakra located between your eyebrows, setting the intention that this chakra is balanced, balanced and aligned. Moving slowly to your throat chakra, which is located in your throat space. And set the attention, feel and see this chakra that is balanced and aligned. moving to your heart space, to your heart chakra. Feel this chakra, set the intention that this chakra is balanced and aligned. And we're slowly moving to your solar plexus. Focus on your upper belly area. First, feel this energy swirling counterclockwise, swirling and removing any debris, any connections that no longer serve you. The energy is still swirling counterclockwise. Removing the fear, the move, removing the feel of lack. Lack of direction. Removing the fear. And now slowly, the energy starts swirling clockwise direction. And as it's swirling and slowly start gaining momentum and start speeding, swirling faster and faster. And one of my guides is stepping forward is placing a citrine crystal into your solar plexus. And as the energy is swirling, feel that the 
power, the energy of the crystal is spreading out through your body. This warm orange color of the citrine crystal. Citrine is the crystal of the solar plexus chakra, but it also a very good crystal for manifesting. The energy is spreading out. And while the energy is spreading out, the other guy is stepping forward. And he's cutting the cords that are connecting you with any past events that took your power away, people from your past, or maybe from your present as well, that you gave away your power. So maybe it's your boss, maybe it's your employer, or any loved one. Take a deep breath in and let it out through your mouth, removing the cords. Now slowly turn your attention on your sacral chakra, setting the intention that the chakra is balanced and aligned. And just for a moment, just feel all this, all the ideas, creative ideas that you have and you know how to execute. And now slowly move to your root chakra. Set the attention that the chakra is balanced and aligned. And now I want you to ground your energy, push your energy down through the earth, through your feet, through your legs down into the earth and almost reach the center of the earth. Push intentionally down, 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 grounding the energy. And two of my healing guides are stepping forward and they're covering you with this light, like a, it's a blind, like a blanket, but it's so soft and light, bright color light color sealing the energy close to your body and take a deep breath in and let it out and whenever you feel ready slowly wiggle your fingers and your toes and open your eyes good now i want you to journal your experience and see um just your experience throughout the healing and um, see what will come out, what, what thoughts will come out. And if you want, you can um, comment in the uh, under the video and share your experience. And if you have any questions, please, please ask. And I will come back later today probably um, to answer them. And uh, it's very important to really recognize all this um, people that or events that really stole our power, our actually we gave away, uh, intentionally we gave away our power. So pay attention on that moments and that events and that people, because if you don't recognize them, now we did the healing, you might feel great, but if you don't recognize this moment, everything will come back. So really it's important to journal and really uncover all these events or people or whatever it is from your past that you actually stole your power away. And um, I want you to share with um, all of us uh, your experience. And if you have uh, any question, as I said, please, please, please ask uh, in the comments. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.